these five screens and these over here, this is the aftermath of screen printing this past week. Now, after screen printing these clothes, especially the sweatshirts down below here, the dual-sided PMI tape is no longer sticky. Now, while you're screen printing, what you can do is you can take this text flash spray and you can spray it on here, get you a little bit of tack. But the issue with that is over time, it layers more with that glue, layers more with that glue, layers more with that glue to the point where it'll come off onto the clothes and that's no good. Look at all this lint. So sticky. Because the sweatshirts cause more lint, I always put them on last, the tail end. Another form of marketing that we do here at the print shop is sponsorships. We will sponsor anything. Prime example, just got this letter in the mail today for fall youth soccer. My son plays soccer, 300 bucks to sponsor a soccer team. I get to choose what team, so what age division. So that's something we're gonna have as a Mr. Postman print shop soccer team. I have no idea what my last set of window cling was, but some of y'all are asking. Right now, my new one is Junior Formulation 7 mil clear static cling. So, we'll see how this does. How about this pearl paper? Pretty nice. And before anyone asks, Nina Pearl, 284 GSM 19 by 13. The Whiteville High School baseball team has won many state championships over the years. And here's another sponsorship opportunity, gold sponsors. There wasn't enough room to put our name on here, otherwise we would have been a gold sponsor. But uh, we're on a different board. You see here, Mackenzie Gore, he was uh, third pick in the draft a couple years ago, National Gatorade Player of the Year, and um, went to Whiteville High School. He currently pitches for the Washington Nationals. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I think I mentioned it before maybe, but my cousin is Madison Bumgarner, who won three World Series with the San Francisco Giants. He's currently still getting paid big bucks by the Arizona Diamondbacks, although he's not playing anymore. Oh, well. Kind of excited about this. I've been wanting to do like a little CMYK rebrand for the store. So, boom, making that happen. I've been trying to convert everything over to 12 by 18 as much as possible. So, uh, if we're gonna cut these cards here, we're gonna do the 12 by 18, the RGB. These are with the bleed, so they're double cut. And then we click okay. Now we just load them up. Hit start. This is gonna rise up. All right, sound like I'm from Hamilton. I'm essentially running production this morning. So we had a little team meeting and just to make it easy to determine 
But all I need to focus on what I can do. But you guys, I was doing event tickets yesterday and I accidentally still had my perforator on. So I messed up some of these. Oh well. All right, so I love in Shopbox, the production control dashboard. This is where I can come down by workflow. I got a workflow set up for banners, design, screen printing, outsourcing, promotional items, roll to roll, sublimation, flatbed, paper printing. So I click on paper, I could come down to, let's see, Neiman Market. I could click on this job and see the version of the file and everything. But if I go to the sales order, I can see exactly how many I need to print, which is 3,500. So and that's gonna help me over here. I got 3,500 divided by three. So I need to print 1,167. 1,167. All right. Right click and print that bad boy. A new thing we're doing to help us with workflow. Let's say I got to import a new job file. We have a client's folder in our Google Drive. So everything is powered by Drive. And you can see, we got a mountain of clients in here to go through. And the hardest part is like knowing where to find files. Like I know I gotta do it, but it's like, where do I find them? So what we're doing now is at the very top, that way it shows up at the top, we call it one ready to print. This is all the stuff that's ready to print today. And so it's easy for me to know and then it's my responsibility once it's done printing to drag it into the client folder that way we keep track of the versions of everything obviously the reason we're called mr postman print shop is because i really wanted to help people figure out direct mail campaigns but it's surprising how little we do of that but it's nice when we have one come across our door um, you'll recognize that we did that sign from a previous video. Chelsea did a really cool job on this particular design. We're printing this job on this Linden Meyer Monroe Explorer Digital 100 pound gloss cover, which is a 270 GSM. It's 19 by 13, which works out pretty well for this size. I guess I might could, well, I wouldn't be able to fit this on 12 by 18. So I kind of have to use this size for this. So this weight and size is kind of our go-to for a nice six by 11 oversized postcard mailer. All uh, right, there wasn't room for us on the gold, but we did do a silver sponsorship. That computer over there is our fiery machine. This is what powers our flatbed and our roll to rolls. Flatbed is powered with raster link, which is by Mamaki. But you can see here, we got the same situation rolling, ready to print. So here's the stuff I got to print today for the Diamond Club. Boom. I'm gonna bump up the resolution. Rip and print. Really love it when I have this machine rolling, this machine rolling. Now I just gotta get these two bad boys working here, which I'm doing next. Loading up some perf right there. And the one folder system really helps when I got two clients that I'm doing window perf for. And I can put them side by side. There we go, two clients lined up side by side. Look at all these machines running, one, two. Oh, we had to pause this one for a second. Daggum it. Oh my goodness gracious. One man, five machines.
Talia, you're right. This is a little bit easier. Mike's point to me was it's a little bit easier to go ahead and cut these out on the guillotine, save the blades on your slitter cutter creaser, and you can actually knock this out a little bit faster. His other point was it's a lot easier to manage the waste from the guillotine because it's just nicely compact and stacked together. Speaking of sponsorship, there's our sponsorship on the video board right there. You know, we've been walking home. We stumbled across this mama killdeer. She scared the mess out of us because she did her little chirpy thing. Here, do your chirpy thing. Oh, look at her eggs. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, we'll leave you alone. Time to fire up some coals. In some of my past videos, you'll see where I've done stuff for like the hospital gala. They've been our biggest client for years, even before we started the print shop. So naturally, we are going to sponsor their gala with the print shop, presents us with the unique opportunity to do a lot of printing for the foundation. So we usually trade out our sponsorship we get a really high level sponsorship in front of some really big wigs. And that really, really goes a long way in helping us secure other business. All right, so of course the smoke was getting me, I had to move. And last point I'm gonna make on sponsorships, one idea, um, kind of a bold move. My local college, they were sending all of their print business out of the county and they were having a major foundation gala and I signed up for the highest sponsorship just wrote a check for it I wasn't getting their business at the time and I knew that if I did that it would probably make them reassess what they were doing with their print and it worked um, we got <laughs> the, the president of the college basically made a decree saying, hey, we need to look at keeping our print local every single chance you get. So now, um, whether we can do stuff or not, they're coming to me to find out if we could do it. And, and I super appreciate that. Actually, I uh, just did some banners for their softball team. And they were like, hey, do you want to be a top level sponsor for this? And uh, and trade out this one banner and then you can make your own signs, uh, your own banner um, for our baseball field and our softball field. They, ha they have a, a baseball team and softball team. So that worked out super well. Dang guys, it's Tuesday and I'm pretty sure I already have enough footage for a video. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing together. Thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you. I will see you very soon. Take care.